Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, my name is Tommy and I am a QA at NIM. And today I'm going to be giving an overview on how to run a NIM mix node. So first and foremost, I would like to highlight this isn't going to go into the depths about what a mix node actually does on the NIM network, but just simple installation from launching a new server instance on a respective platform, installing the relevant binaries, how to build it, how to configure firewalls, and then actually how to bond your mix node. So let's get into it. First and foremost would be to navigate to nimtech.net. And on this homepage, you can obviously navigate to download section. And then we scroll down and we have various components of the NIM platform. And what we will be using is the NIM mix node. But before we download this binary, what we can do is go into the documentation about how to run NIM mix nodes as a whole. So what you need to do is navigate to nimtech.net forward slash docs, then select the mix node section. And then prior to that, you've also got this section called building NIM. So it gives you all the prerequisites in terms of kind of the operating system that you need to run this on, and then some of the commands that we would need to do to actually get everything in a fit and stable state. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go and launch a new server instance in a platform of my choice, which is going to be Linode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the specific OS that I want to be running. My distribution there is going to be Ubuntu, the region that I want to run that in. And on our documentation on our website, it specifies the type of hardware that we actually want to run. So by navigating to mix nodes within the node section here and selecting hardware specs it gives you an overview of kind of the core computing that you actually need to run a reliable mix node so for this demonstration we're going to jump back into Linode we're going to go to a shared CPU and we're going to try and get two CPUs so a Linode 4 gigabyte should suffice for this so what I'm going to do now is create this instance I'm going to label it nim mix node demo and create. Okie doke. Pass that in. And behind the scenes. And for this instance, I didn't go about configuring my SSH keys, which I would usually do. But what I'll do, once that server has been provisioned, we will then SSH, well, we would have SSH'd into it, but we'll connect via root, and then we'll start going about installing all the relevant packages that we need to actually have the system up and running. So now I've just opened up a terminal session, and I'm going to SSH into my machine. Perfect. So now under the root user, what I'm going to do is go back to the building NIM section on the website, and just run a few updates. And I'm just going to pause the video whilst that happens. Perfect. Now we've got all the packages that have updated for this specific server. So I'm going to jump back into the documentation. So there's two ways that we can go about this. We can either download the binaries, as mentioned firstly on the introduction of the video, which we're going to adopt this time round. But if you are a software developer, you can actually install everything on the main machine itself. So what you would need to do is install Rust and then go about checking out the respective version that is our current release head at the moment of our software, which is version 12.1. But in this example, what we're going to do, we're going to download the binary. Then we're going to SCP that binary across onto the server. Then we're going to go about actually initializing it and finding how we do that from inside the wallet as well. So what I'm going to do is now go back to the website and within the download section, so nimtech.net forward slash download, I'm going to download the NIM mix node binary. I'm going to save it to a location on my machine and that's done. Now that the binary has successfully downloaded, what I'm going to do is SCP that binary across onto the server. So it's quite simple to do. What I'm going to do is then, usually I would set up an additional user on the server 
under the name of NIM as per the instructions on the NIM website. But for this instance, I'm just going to run it under root. So I input my password. And whilst that goes about its business, I'm just going to pause the video. And now I'm going to log back into the box. So if we do an LS, perfect. We can see the NIM mix node is successfully on our machine. So what do we want to do next? We want to make it executable first and foremost. So I'm just going to change the permissions on the binary. And to see that's effective, it is perfect. So what does it state next within the documentation? So let's go back to the docs itself, go on to the mix node section and let's scroll down. So there's a few commands that we can run to actually find out more information about the binary. So let's jump back into the terminal. Let's run a NIM mix node to see what's presented. And then we can do further commands such as version. Uh, we can pass in the help parameter. And it gives us an overview about how we would potentially instantiate our mix node. So the next thing we want to do is initialize this mix node. So how do we go about that? To do that, first and foremost, you're also going to need to download the NIM wallet. And the NIM wallet is downloadable at the same URL and the same location on the downloads page. So depending on your hardware or your machine that you're operating from, you can download the wallet of your choice here, and then that will sit in your machine. Once you open up the wallet, it will launch a page that then allows you to create a mnemonic. What you need to do is then store that mnemonic in a safe place, access the wallet, and then extract your NIM address. So I won't go into the depths about this right now, but it's a very clear user interface and it's a very streamlined uh, flow to actually get yourself a NIM wallet address. So now let's dive back into the terminal session and let's go about initializing our new mix node. So from here, I can pass in the init arg, and it then prompts us to input three fields. Your host, which is your IP address where you're going to be running your mix node. Your ID, just your configuration name. So in this instance, I will say test. And your wallet address, something that we've just got from downloading and installing the wallet. So let's go about that. So to show my wallet address, what I'm going to do is go to an instance of the wallet that I've just recently opened. And as you can see, I've got some balance in my account already. And this is currently pointing to our sandbox environment, which is one of our test nets. So what I'm going to do now is copy the value from inside the wallet, transfer that across into the terminal, and then it's going to give me my configuration that will entitle me to bond my mix node. So let's do that. And as you can see, that's success successfully, sorry, inited a new configuration. And where this is stored, it's stored in this directory here and it reads the values from this instantiation. So now what we need to do is navigate back to the wallet to bond our mix node. But prior to doing that, what we also want to do is go back to the documentation and just follow the sequence of steps that are provided within this. So as you can see, we've just instantiated and run this command and now run in our mix node. So we could quite simply run that with the configuration that we've just set up, but we need to bond it. So, but let's try launching it first and foremost. Run ID test. And as you can see, that has successfully launched our mix node. But now what we want to do is bond it. By bonding, it actually shows that you own that mix node and then you can start to configure and receive packets on the mix net. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to exit out of this quickly, clear what's on my terminal, and then go back into the wallet and input the configuration values that were displayed on screen. So a useful command there, I accidentally cleared my terminal so it didn't display all the information I need to bond my mix node. So what I just did then 
where the binary sits, I just inputted nim mix node, no details, and then passed in the ID. So I'm going to copy all these values and navigate to the wallet. Go onto the bond section, and we know what we need to do here. We need to bond our mix node. Now I'm going to copy my Sphinx key, my owner signature, and there is a minimum amount to pledge, and that is 100 NIM tokens. Profit percentage is that A, if you are an operator and you want people to delegate to your mix node to earn rewards, you should be quite fair in terms of setting this profit percentage margin. So if you set 100% and people delegate to your mix node, only you are going to actually get those rewards. So be fair in your approach to actually setting your profit percentage. And if we copy the rest of the values, and then let's go about bonding this. So I'm just going to move my screen quickly. And this is against our sandbox environment. So I select bond. And we can see that transaction successful. Perfect. So now I know that has bonded. And and to check that transaction successfully broadcasted on the network, we also have a block explorer. So what you can see here is just the mix node that I have just bonded. So 103, 103. So we can see that bond has successfully applied to our mix node. Last and but not least, what we want to do is start that mix node up using system D and we want to configure the ports to allow traffic to actually be allowed in on the mix node itself. So back to our terminal, I'm just going to clear what's on screen Then I'm going to go back to the documentation as well. So we just want to open up and configure our firewall and I'm just going to do literally a copy and paste here and just install all the relevant packages that are needed and then allow the ports to be open. Here we go. So, perfect, and now if we check the status on that, we should see these ports have been configured correctly. Okie doke, bear with me one second. So what I'm going to do now, I've just enabled all the ports and everything that have been mentioned within the documentation here. So now I'm going to automate the actual process of starting the mix node behind the scenes, so I don't have to worry about it or let it run. Um, by me manually kicking it off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a service file, copy this across, and navigate to the respective directory to do so. So Etsy, system D, system. What I'm going to do, vi nim mix node dot service. So I'm going to copy this in. And because I actually haven't created the user profile in this demonstration, I'm going to actually be running it as root. I'm going to be specifying the location where it's being run from. Root. Here we go, get rid of this. Nim mix node, run. And the argument that we need to pass in here is the ID that we set it up as. So that would be test. So let me just insert that value here, test. And now if we go back into the documentation, now we want to start this, so we need to enable it. Just gonna copy that across here. And that's done its business. And now behind the scenes, what we want to do is see our NIM mix node kick off from the service file we just created. So one way we can actually do to check that is a journal CTL minus U NIM mix node. And here we go. As you can see, we have now successfully bonded our mix node. And in terms of actually listening to ports and it bonding from the wallet, we've done that. I'm sorry, this is a very kind of granular nutshell overview of everything. But if you do have further questions, do not hesitate to get in contact with myself or one of the team in our Telegram channels, which can be seen on the website here. And alternatively, you can also find us on Twitter.